Brought to you by wikivd.com Jeff Sterling Jeffrey William Sterling was a Newfoundland businessman, born in St. John's Sterling along with other members of his family, owned several media outlets in the Canadian province of Newfoundland and Labrador under the corporate brand Sterling Communications International. Specifically, these properties are independent television station CJONDT, radio station CHOZFM, and the Newfoundland Herald, a weekly news gossip and TV listings magazine. In some circles, Sterling is regarded as an eccentric for the way in which he has used his media outlets to promote a variety of personal interests such as Eastern mysticism and intestinal health. For example, he devoted many hours of often unscheduled broadcast time to conversations with gurus such as Ram Das and Swami Shyaman to a variety of esoteric subjects ranging from pyramids to unidentified flying objects, a practice which continues today as the station is run by his son G. Scott Sterling. Jeff's grandson Jesse is the host of the CJON interview program Meetings with Remarkable People. Many of his past interviews and archives can be seen currently on CJON on Saturday mornings from 2 to 4 a.m. Newfoundland time under the name Captain Atlantis Late Night. When he watched his own television station he would sometimes phone Master Control to order that a favorite tape immediately preempt the current broadcast or that the technician apply a particular effect to the screen. Sterling himself claimed that after being diagnosed with arthritis he had a doctor inject liquid gold directly into his blood. Sterling was also the founder of CKGM, an English-language radio station in Montreal, in 1959. He owned the station until 1985. Sterling appeared in the 1974 documentary film Waiting for Fidel about a trip he made to Cuba along with former Newfoundland premier Joey Smallwood and director Michael Rubbo. The trio never met the Cuban leader. Many segments of the program involve Smallwood and Sterling discussing what they would like to ask Castro whenever the expected meeting happens. Some of the dialogue occurs while Sterling is demonstrating yoga, and standing on his head while conversing with Smallwood. Although considered eccentric by some, Sterling pioneered many television firsts in North America, and TV was the first in Newfoundland to air programs in color a decade before CBNT. And TV became the first station to broadcast 24 hours a day in 1972. And TV was possibly the first in North America to air programming from all of the big three U.S. television networks, the CTV Television Network, and its own programming giving itself the nickname Your Five Star Network. Sterling supervised the creation of the graphic novel Atlantis featuring the superheroes Captain Atlantis and Captain Canada, drawing on elements of Canadian history as well as New Age philosophy. Captain Canada has become a mascot for the NTV station and has appeared in television programs, commercials and numerous public events. Sterling was a co-founder in the Economic Union Party a late 1940s political movement that sought closer ties to the United States for the Dominion of Newfoundland which at that time was still independent from Canada. It was one of two organizations that unsuccessfully opposed the Dominion's confederation into Canada, which eventually occurred in 1949. In 2001 Sterling was inducted into the Cab Broadcast Hall of Fame and in 2009 was awarded the Order of Newfoundland and Labrador. In his later years, Sterling split his time between Torbay, Newfoundland and Labrador and his ranch in Wickenburg, Arizona where he once owned Wickenburg radio station KSWG. Sterling died at the age of 92 on December 21, 2013. 
Brought to you by Wikivd.com. Would you like to know more?